Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching HTML tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about HTML list. So let's get started. I have opened brackets and now I will go ahead and create a new file and I will save it as list.html and I will write the following HTML. So we have the doc type HTML opening and closing HTML tag, opening and closing head tag, and we have set the title to list, and we have the opening and closing body tag, which is empty at the moment. And now let us go ahead and open live preview. All right. In HTML, there are three types of list, unordered list, ordered list, and definition list. Let us start with the unordered list. We create an unordered list using the UL tag. And inside the opening and closing UL tag, we create the LI tag or the list item tag. So let us go ahead and create an unordered list of fruits. So the first item of this unordered list is apple second one is mango and let's say the third one is orange now let us create another unordered list and this time we are going to create a list of text editors that we can use for html so we have an unordered list and let's say the first item of this unordered list is atom second let's say brackets third sublime text fourth notepad plus plus now if you look at the output you can see we have bullet marks now we can change this bullet marks by setting the type attribute in the opening ul tag to let's say circle and now we have circle bullet marks similarly Let us go ahead and copy paste. We can set the type to square and we'll get square bullet marks. And similarly, we can set the type to disk. Now let us talk about ordered list. In HTML, we use the ol tag to create ordered list. So let us go ahead and create an ordered list of fruits. So like an ordered list, an ordered list will also have list items using the li tag, but each item will be numbered. So let's say the first item is apple. Second is mango. Third is orange. So now if you look at the output, you can see we have the list of items and they are numbered one, two, three. We can also change the numbering of the ordered list by setting the value of type attribute in the opening OL tag. So for example, let's say we have an ordered list and this time we want the items to be numbered using roman numeral so for that in the opening ol tag we'll set the type attribute to capital i and we get the items in roman numeral similarly if we want the items to be numbered in lowercase roman numeral we will use lowercase i. 
Similarly, we can use uppercase A to label the items of the ordered list as capital A, B and C. And we can also use lowercase a for lowercase a, b and c. We can also control the starting numeral by using the start attribute in the ol tag. So for example, let's say we have an ordered list and the type is 1. And let's say we want to start the numbering from 10. So in that case, we'll create the start attribute inside opening ol tag and we'll set the value of this start attribute to 10. And now if we look at the output, we can see the numbering starts from 10. We can also mix ordered and unordered list. So let's say we have an unordered list and let's say the first item of this unordered list is fruits and now inside this list item let's say we want to create an ordered list and the first item of this ordered list is let's say apple and the second item is mango and the third item is orange now for this unordered list let's say the second item is text editor and it contains an ordered list and let's say the first item is atom second is brackets third is sublime text and let's say we have set the type to uppercase i and for this let's say we have set the type to lowercase a so you can see the output we have an unordered list and the items of the unordered list contain ordered list and now let us talk about the definition list in html we use the dl tag to create a definition list and it consists of a term and the definition of the term so let us go ahead and create a definition list using the DL tag. Now inside this DL opening and closing tag, let's say we want to create the first definition term. So we use the DT tag and let's say the term is YouTube. And to create the definition, we use the double D tag. And let's say it is a video sharing website and let's say we have another term Google and the definition is it is a search engine Alright guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial.
I'll post the tutorial notes on my website dyclassroom.com. The link will be in the description. So please check that out. And all the codes that we are writing in this tutorial series, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. The link will be in the description. And if you find this video interesting, then please hit that like button and please subscribe my channel. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.